Uh, they need to sort out the coordination there with those flashbangs. I mean, yes, it's an anti-eco, but when... That's in, that, uh, ...in that case, but... This is looking like a very terrible start. This push has to do something. Oh my god, James! <laughs> oh my god! Nice. Dewey! I mean, we love, we love a good eco spray down. Yeah, and so do the crowd. They love the garden hose. They're going to look for Sixer first. Once they see him, are they going to check the corner? That's the big question. Sixer, bit of damage output already. Apex waiting for it. If they push into B now, it's only NBK that's back there. Man, this is a tense round. They're right around the corner here. They don't even realize it just yet. They're going to go for the re-pick, and now they're going to come charging through. Apex still waiting for it. There's the headshot. Apex opening up. He goes for more. Apex and Six are helping out. That's a triple for Apex, leaving Didi alone. What a trap being set up, and there's a quad kill, picking up the Tech Nines. What a godlike Very quickly, Stewie playing the gap with Smoke, trades it back into a four on four. Time is starting to get a little bit low, and the bomb has yet to be put down, but now you see Nico and Speedy clearing out the site. Speedy will pick up the bomb, he's gonna try to put it down, but he's gonna get jumped on by Skadoodles off up close. No bomb flight coming in. Skadoodle with another close range up shot there on to Nico. And so Skadoodle trying to see if he can't put this one away for Cloud9. It's all on the Chris J again. Can he clutch it up one more? Ring around the Rosie with Skadoodle, but Skadoodle lands the no scope. That's a big round from Ska. Four kills. Snacks gonna put up a smoke because that is just his MO. And now he's setting up for a flash trying to go through. Pax are gonna get the first engagement here. Takes one, goes for a second, and the flash comes out from Snacks in the back line. That helps out, but he will be going down to Alu. That's still a huge engagement there for Lotus Pro. They're gonna be happy about that one. Pasha takes one, then two, and that leaves Alu alone after a quad kill from Pasha. And he's looking for the ace. He's hunting him down. Alu with the knife out, the flash bang in, and Pasha gonna pick up the ace. He's gonna have to be the limp spin once again. The smoke gonna go up to try and block him out. He doesn't get that kill, but now they are coming for him. They're pinching in between that drop, like we were talking about earlier. Grenades are raining in as well. 30 seconds and immortals. They have to go for it now, otherwise they're simply gonna run out of time. And steel opening up with a big double for the refracts coming in. Apex lining him up for the triple, and that's Henny and Bolts left. No strong I think coming out of Henny there, and he's all alone. One versus two with just 15 seconds left. The bomb is not down yet. And they push through. There's Apex. Ace for him. He picks up the whole team. What a way to get back. My opinion from whatever we, we've seen dip hit these levels individually their, their ct side on new is, is a very similar situation it's just so dominant they've been playing this map it's been one of their best maps for a long time rotations are good it's going to be tested early here and he stands to the challenge one quick kill and the nade all of phases oh! Oh! Pit! the defense from nip there it is Shots have to push forwards. Oh, oh my, God. my goodness gracious me, Glaive is going absolutely nuts. Three players still standing for Astralis. What a defense! Oh. What? Oh my god, Divine stuck in CT spawn, that was ridiculous. He's <laughs> in separate kills as well, but it might be one bullet. This is this round is completely. And Device has, has the wrong read on the entire situation, so he may get taken down, but AZ's not holding the angle. But if there's a smoke made for Device to pick up, it doesn't seem so. He's running out of time as well, and there's no way that AZ can lose this round. There it is. What a crazy. That's one of the most explosive rounds, I think. He goes down and then nap walks out and Terry call three. It wasn't even nap. He's got to reload. He gets around the box. He's got the time. We're trying to find him. Oh, I love it. Jump all you like, Kyo, but you're not going to boon him. It's going to be easy. He couldn't actually cancel it out with the smoke either. So he has to stay behind. Well, this, this was effective last time because Stewie found the kill. This time he gets obliterated by Alu, who holds the line. Two kills for Alu. And now it's automatic. He does catch Rain out of the open. Longest free of his life. And Skadoodle will eventually get the kill, but this is just so sloppy. This is all over the place. And Alu with the... Well, with an ace! <laughs> Unreal! Every single angle being held there. Seconds left to try and get the bomb down on team. So great Molotovs are raining in, but... I don't see how they can win this round. Not anymore. Pyth is still alive on bank, holding that angle. 
Rush needs to get up here and get that pump plant immediately. And Tarek had to stay alive, but it's not going to happen. And now Nip have an avenue onto the site. Mixwell holding that line, however, is going to take get right out. But it's still a two-man advantage here for NIP. They still have the flash. There it goes. Not going to be effective on Rush. Certainly effective on Freiburg, but it doesn't matter. There are too many bodies here. 1v2, 1v1. How has Mixwell turned this around? Two headshots, and it's on Exist now to clutch it. Another 1v1 situation here between both of these teams. And Mixwell is going to make the jump out to safety. Exist, does he have the time? And it doesn't seem like it. What is this, though? Mixwell is a crazy person. Wait. Imagine if Exist just went for the defuse immediately. Mixwell, we couldn't do anything. Exist, he's going to be on it, but Mixwell, the timing is simply god tier. And that's the quad kill to save the round. Up to gaming. They bring it back to 14 here with Mixwell decimating NIP. He stepped back, but he said they haven't been going there often, but he is getting kills on the way through. Somebody follows it up, but Chris J, he's there. And as all this goes down, they realize, okay, hang on, there's people in the B site. Nico is waiting outside. Let's rotate back. Polo's going to get the ball plant in. Lowell will rotate up the stairs from CT spawn as Lowell heads out toward Ivy, so they should cancel each other out. That's if he even gets that far, because Chris J is looking down and able to find it, but then he can easily go to the pistol. Lovely shot up close. And you're right, no kit becomes a massive problem. Chris just trying to bait this out, pull himself away by time and space, and also get noise cues on the back of this, and he's picked them correctly found. Good pickup from Chris. And those sports is not letting off the gas pedal at all. Sells in position. Cover both ways, and that's going to work. Molotov goes down. Chris sits in position, catches somebody jumping around the corner, played it perfectly, and now Moe's got to rotate over just to deal with hand. They're very lined up. Watch the flashes, does pit one. He's still got a chance for more. Moe, he's got all three. Somehow you saw that coming, and all of a sudden, the man who saved for an AWP in the next round, he picks one up. It's on the four kills for him. It's just lower remaining. If this is the ace we've been waiting for all day, it's the nicest one you might see. He's got all five. <laughs> that was absolutely sick. Cover with one. And Freiburg gonna push through, he's dropped by AZ. Yeah, this is starting to shatter a little bit here. NIP aren't completely flawless at this point, but it has to be quick from phase. They have no kills, but Boris in a lovely position. Watch it! Oh! What? Boris! That was sick! He finds Rain, and looks for more. This guy's on fire right now. And now the two players remaining have the option. Desperate to hold on to them. Terrified of Forest, and I would be as well. Takes down Alu, and now Carrigan. Run, Carrigan, run. What even is that from Forest? Oh, that is so disgusting. And even after that, you can see he's just tapping away still, just knowing it's going to come, knowing it's going to happen, searching for this last kill, and he gets it. What a high class this man has come to play with tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nico is back to his old tricks once again, looking for this aggressive push. Is this going to be playing? He's going to be uh, feeling the full brunt of that push. Forrest sadly wasn't there to bash one and whatnot, so it's going to be all, uh, all Gucci. Nico on this side. It's going to be a small attack now, but it does miss its mark. He's still being able to hold it, but can't deny the plant. Going to find one, looking for a second. Oh. He's on three frags now. He continues his aggression. Oh, oh he gets the fourth. Nico, oh. what are you doing? That's the ace. That was insane. Oh, my God. Somebody called the fire again because this man is on fire. Going for the quick shoulder pick, but he's going to be forced out back onto the site. That's right out into the open where Pipe is instantly going to give him. But Kirby and Dupree it find two kills. They somehow bring this back to a three on three of Straws. And there's still. Kirby is hit! Kirby with three headshots. Quad kill for Kirby. This is where Captain Mo couldn't really make his sniper work, but Kenny, I think, definitely will. He's so strong in this position. Actually, now they're going to go aggressive. Flashbang goes in. Kenny wants to peek for it, but on the other side, waiting. Oh! Still going to win the fight. That's one hell of a shot. Kenny loves this position. This is one of his favorite positions, hands down. Getting on the side, close quarters work with the AWP. He loves chaos, and he gets another kill. Makes it back, looks for the follow-up, hits the shot. There's three, there's four, and the god gets shut down, but still, the damage is done. 1v3 now. If the grenade goes in, it's going to deny the bomb pump, but oh, it just make it as he explodes the HE. All on device one versus four. He's going to get one good headshot in, but they should be able to swarm him. There's just too much here. He's going to get one more in. Taps away. Device looking the wrong way. Tearing us out. Oh my lord. Device taking four kills. And the Stral is somehow coming out. And they have no chance to save, obviously. It's the last round. Mixwell trying to get some sort of shot in, but he goes down to Kerrigan. Tarek 
one on four, the guy needs the smoke on the other side. He's gonna get the one kill, and that's a good job, but I don't think it'll be anything else here. He gets the one with the tech nine, follows it up, takes down AZ. How is he not dead yet? Alu on the other side, tearing his head, John! You've got to be kidding, he picks up four kills! That's impossible! Strokes on the bottom side here, the guy should try to take them down, the guy comes in, what a great way to kick things off there, take that for Massive shot, Smoke didn't come in just yet, Fallen's only going now, so they actually put it back stairs, which means they still have a chance if Vice wants to pop back out, but there's a Smoke in front of him as well. He's got to try and walk back through and bomb, just getting in position to Vice, wait a second, that boost up is working as well because Fox is Aki, now win the duel, four range as well with the Glock, and now Fox, right position, said he would be there, has to try and follow this up and watch to his left, it's a crossfire, it's a blunder, both go to the knife, Cole's gonna win it off, and then there is a knife because the Vice comes back around, oh my oh, god, to the Vice with two in one round, that's insane! And he's gonna get the defuse on the back of it as well. That is absolute pandemonium. Replaying the vice right now. What the hell just happened there? The vice opened things up with two kills. The pistol, the knife, two of them. What is going on?